So this is a 2019 Toyota Camry water pump electric and it failed check engine light intermittent overheating. I think that Camry also didn't have a temperature gauge for the cooling system so that's another negative but was checking it had a code for the water pump malfunction. Trouble chart was pretty clear it said basically check the PCM operation make sure the PCM side that controls the water pump is okay. Everything was indicating a bad water pump even though it was intermittent not failing. Um, anyways at that point sold a water pump it's a thousand dollar job with Toyota parts thermostat cooling system labor and it's really not that time consuming to do but it's just expensive parts and this is what it looks like cooling system bolts up to the block thermostat has the inlet coolant here thermostat housing we got six pins power and ground two control wires from the PCM I like to know why things fell so I took it apart this is the circuit board realize this is a brushless motor and we have power and ground coming in control wires similar to like a can network we got the three axis three phase power control for the the field winding which gives the magnetic field energy like an alternator to then wirelessly turn this basically impeller and how does it turn it without uh, brushes or a rotor on the impeller so it's got let me get something it's got a uh, magnet as well and this magnet if I can get it out you see here it's got, this is basically the impeller that moves the water pump in this electric water pump made by ASIN, which is Japanese. And there's a mag, basically a copper winding. And this copper winding is reacting to the three phase electric field. And it's spinning this rotor, if you want to call it that. And it's doing it similar to an alternator, but without brushes. So we call it a brushless motor spins on this shaft here and this still shaft there's no bushing usually you have a brass or copper bushing there isn't one it's just plastic in there it looks like that's not worn out though and I don't see anything worn out and it wasn't wobbling but it was very stiff and trying to spin it there was a spot that would kind of hang up and cause drag and again there's no there was no wobbling really to this pump but Taking it apart, I could see inside there's some scratches in the bore. And looking at it, you see that there's a hump right here. Really hard to see, but this is bulged out. And you can see where it was hitting and, and scraping the inside of that housing where it rides and spins. And it looks like the lamp, the metal windings lift it up inside this plastic maybe it got too hot and it expanded and now it's rubbing this plastic housing creating drag so i'm assuming when it got really hot because after an hour it would fill so the water pump was working hard rubbing the whole time the metal expands when it gets hot and it eventually probably stops spinning because of this separation and it's out of round so anyways this type of stuff is really interesting because you know without taking a car part car parts apart you don't really understand how they operate and how they can fail and instead of a traditional mechanical water pump car companies are doing this for fuel efficiency and emissions reasons but these are all potential fail points and we've come a long ways but this type of stuff i think we're going backwards because you could be in the middle of nowhere and have one of these resistors fail and your water pump starts working. So that's a problem.